Hi, I'm Izzy and this is Dizzy Quilts and Sews. In today's video, woohoo, we're opening our Think Pink box. And I'm back with a new garment. So because of how busy I was this month, so in December, uh, everything I had to do on my to-do list, I decided this fabric needed to become my Christmas Eve top. I knew I wanted to wear my new olive green ready-to-wear dress pants. Um, and this fabric is actually perfect for these pants. So yeah, a new Christmas Eve top, it had to be. I'm gonna keep looking down because I have notes. <laughs> so I looked through my pattern stash on Stash Hub and I really wanted like the words of Jennifer Mackie Mary from The Everyday Style just kept, you know, being in my head and I could hear her say, you know, look for wrap tops or wrap dresses, ruching, draping, folds, that kind of thing. So I'm looking through my pattern stash and... Really, I have one of those, or had one of those, and that's the Bonita Top and Dress by Stylark. But I've never made that one. I knew it would require a full bust adjustment and probably multiple muslins. I really didn't have time to do all of that stuff. And then I realized I bought the Cashmere Rose Claire Dress recently like they were having a sale for club members if i remember correctly anyways so i looked through the hashtag and i looked on their website and i saw that a number of people had made the dress into a top just by removing the two bottom tiers so there are multiple views in this pattern one of them is a tiered dress so if you just do the bodice and one of the tiers you have a very nice wrap slash peplum top. So that's what I decided to make. I went with uh, a size 18 GH graded to a size 20 at the waist and hips, like I always do for cashmere patterns. And the fit is very good. The shoulders fall exactly where they need to be. There's just enough ease in the waist and hips. It is, I wouldn't say it's gaping, like it's pretty flush to my skin, but it is a little bit lower than what I would typically be comfortable with. So when I wear this again, I'm either gonna wear a cami underneath or I'm gonna put like a popper right probably like up here. For Christmas Eve, I decided to leave it as is. It's fine. I'm going to a party, blah, blah, blah. Uh, besides, like I did make a muslin just to be sure because I didn't want to waste this. Plus, like I had no other option for my Christmas Eve party. So I made a muslin and I'm going to insert a picture of the muslin. Marianne was here when I finished it and then I put it on and we were both like, <gasps> This is perfect, like it fit me right off the bat, like no adjustments. I could have made, um, like I could have lowered the bus darts just a touch, but really not enough for me to worry about. So straight away after doing the muslin, I cut into my final fabric and it came together really easily. Now let me see if I can stand up and show you the full top. So there you are. So I am wearing it with ready to wear green pants. And I love the outfit. I love how the top fits. Some really cool elbow length sleeves with a cuff. And here's the back. It's not too long, it's not too short. 
like the length is perfect it's exactly where I like my tops to end yeah it's just I'm so pleased so so pleased except for the fact that I may need like I said to put a little popper or something up here this is so good right off the bat okay let me see if I can get closer there we go okay so what is there to say about this pattern I mean it's a cashmere pattern so you know the instructions are really really good lots of diagrams or or illustrations which is what I prefer I don't like photos especially not if the garments they are showing has like a very busy print on it. It can be so difficult sometimes to figure out what it is they want you to do. Cashmerette has diagrams, which is really good, very clear. Um, the drafting for Cashmerette, it's just good. The notches match up where they, you know, where they should. Everything just works, which is for really, really awesome. All right, what else is there? Um, like I said, the there are three views. So there's a tiered dress that's almost to the floor. So I, I think it's like to the ankle uh, with these elbow sleeved that are cuffed. There is a knee length with just one tier with short puff sleeves. And then there's a knee length with um, just short sleeves, I think. Yeah, just regular short sleeves. So, yeah, and then of course, you can make view A and just omit the two tiers, and then you have a top. The pattern is available in their full size range, so zero to 32, with bust cups C to H, so no need for full bust adjustment, which is fabulous. So there you go my Christmas Eve top and my make with the Think Pink box number 22. Am I going to make this pattern again? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I will. <laughs> I might actually try the tiered dress for this summer and just leave it really long like a maxi dress in a nice viscose and maybe do the short sleeves. That might be something I do Although I don't wear a ton of dresses. If I am going to wear dresses, it's probably going to be in the summer. Um, because who needs to worry about tights and linings and slips and all of that good stuff in the winter? Nah, nah. So there you go. Let me know what you think. <laughs> I'm very, very pleased. I know there were two colorways of this fabric this month, like I probably said during the unboxing. Um, I'm very pleased with the colorway I got, like very, very pleased. I mean, this couldn't go any better with the green pants I bought. So yes, it all came out perfect in the end. All right, well, that's it for today's video. I would love to know what you think in the comments. Have you made the Rose Claire dress? And if you did, what did you think? I would love to know. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please give the video a like on your way out if you liked it and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks again and I will see you soon.